Hey guys, this is uh, week 110 on the Real DVD Watchers, or Christmas week 2010, and basically it's the same as the last two Christmas weeks, uh, last in the previous years. Uh, we all review a Christmas movie. Uh, mine's not really a movie per se, uh, more like a little special, and that is uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Now, I don't... I, I really don't know anyone out there who doesn't know the story of the Christmas Carol, but for me growing up, uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol was like the definitive version, like for me. Um, and you know, I watched it again last night after or yesterday after not having seen it for uh, years, and I don't know, it didn't hold up as well as I thought it would. Uh, basically, because I don't know, like. I'll always get joy out of watching it, but I was like, oh, I wish it would have... I, the main thing it suffers from is the length of the special. It's only like 20-some-odd minutes altogether. You know, and when you're a kid, I mean, you think it goes on forever. Like, I was, I thought it was an hour, and then I went back and looked at it. I was like, well, it's only 20 it's only like 20 minutes. But uh, what basically happens here is, uh, like, it, it's... It's all of, uh, it's like all these Disney characters in the roles, like Scrooge McDuck is Ebenezer Scrooge, Mickey Mouse is Bob Cratchit, and so on and so forth. Jimmy Crickets the Ghost of Christmas Past, which is cool. And, uh, Goofy's Jacob Marley. So, it's just all little cool things like that. And, uh, yeah, so, I just wish that it it was a little longer because I mean even with, like the stuff with the ghost of Christmas present it didn't last very long it was just like he showed him one thing and that was that he left and the same with the ghost of Christmas future uh, he just showed Scrooge the uh, um, what was it? he just showed him like the his tombstone and tiny ten and then him and um, I thought he should have uh, showed like people going through this stuff after he died and all that. But maybe that might have been too much for a Disney movie. But, uh, I'm probably just going a little, uh, being a little too picky with it because you know, Disney's awesome, but uh, it, it just could have been a little longer for me. That's that's it. Uh, that's really the only complaint that I have um, in the story. Overall, this is a great Christmas special. It brings back lots of memories from my childhood, and I definitely think uh, I definitely recommend anyone checking it out, especially if uh, you're a fan of Christmas Carol. I recently watched the Jim Carrey one, and I, I just couldn't get into it as much. Uh, basically, because whenever Scrooge talked, all I pictured in my mind was Jim Carrey talking with a stupid look on his face. That's all. That's all I saw. And other aspects of it though were great, but uh, definitely not the best uh, adaptation of the Christmas Carol, in my opinion. So uh, hopefully the Doctor Who Christmas Carol is going to be awesome. Uh, it definitely looks like it. So anyway, that was it from me to you for now. Uh, this is Christmas week, and I shall see you guys probably next week. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to take a week off. Um, It'll be Boxing Day for me next Sunday. Uh, I wouldn't blame Scott if he didn't do a video next Saturday. It's just, you know, it's Christmas Day. But, you know, if anyone wants, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, <laughs> just thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay?